Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought that I would finally show my thoughts, my little review of my The Superior Labor pen roll. I purchased this, uh, I don't remember exactly when, I would say two or maybe even three weeks ago from Bam Kuhen over in California. I got it in the nude leather. So this is, the strap is a little redder than the rest of it, but this is what the nude leather looks like. I have my Galen leather natural undyed pieces, so you can see it's much more, um, I would say these are pinker. This one is a lot darker than this one. I've actually been tanning this for two days outside like this. So this part is a little darker than this already. And then this one is darker than this. But I would say that these are pinker in tone and this is more orange. In video, I would say that this is pretty true to color. I would also say that these are too. This is not as stark white as it appears on camera, but these are definitely way lighter than this. I did have an A5 folio, the zip folio from Galen, and I would say it was pretty identical to this color. So the nude leather from the Superior Labor, I would say is a more caramely color. I really like it. I prefer nude leather just because I like when it gets, I don't want to say grungy, but I love like water spots and scratches and in this case, ink stains. Just, I like to see it grow and change um, over time. Like I start to get grungy looking with my age. So then I want this stuff to get grungy with its age too, I guess. I want it to age with me. Although I feel like this would age much more gracefully than me. <laughs> but I wanted something for a journal supplies pouch, I guess. I wasn't intending to use this just for pens. I am a stay-at-home mom, so I, you know, my, my supplies are not far from me at any given time, but I like to journal in my bed or journal on the couch or go in the backyard. And then when we go places like the park or an appointment or mm, grandparents' houses or, you know, anything, I just wanted something that was small and could contain all of my core journaling supplies. So to me, my core journaling supplies are my Canon Ivy, a roll of double-sided tape. I much prefer this um, instead of the, like, the plastic runners, just because, to me, that's a waste of plastic. Uh, with this, I can use this, and I peel off the, the backing, and I can burn that, and then I can burn this cardboard, and I've essentially created no waste. So, to me, that's more eco-friendly. I also have a stamp from Allie Brown. Her store is on vacation. I'm not sure if she closed indefinitely, but for now it's on vacation because she's doing some online courses that she's prepping for, but I will link her shop, her Etsy shop down below. And I also have these bigger number stencils. They were in a big square, like a six by six square or something. They are from, uh, I want to say stencil space on Etsy. I messaged the owner and he did not have any numbers or he had numbers but he didn't have letters or something and so I asked him if he would make them a specific size and then I bought the numbers and the letters. The letters are in another journaling pouch thing but this is what I use most often. I really don't use the letters all that often but it's in the same font and the same size. So I have those. I also have um, an extra pack of paper for my Canon Ivy 
and I have the blue sheet because I think that the Canon Ivy plus the HP sprocket paper creates a better photo, but you have to have the Canon blue paper to trick the printer into thinking that this is the Canon Ivy paper, so I keep those with me. It's also good for when you're journaling and maybe my printer dies or something or I don't want to print the, the, the picture right away. I can just put this on my journal and kind of gauge where the picture would go. So that kind of serves a dual purpose. I also have a six inch ruler just in case. And my writing utensils, well, first I guess I have scissors. These I got, I think on Amazon for maybe seven bucks, but it's just nice because it's space saving and also safer because you're not getting stabbed with the, the blades. And my writing utensils of choice uh, that are not fountain pens are the Tombow Fudenosuke brush pens. I love these. These are my favorite. They're good for smaller spaces. So there's a hard and a soft. You can tell by the H here. And then, so the blue one is the hard and the black one says S, so it's a soft. So the, the black one will create a little bit bigger downstrokes just because the, um, the nib can bend more, I guess. And then for bigger spaces, I love the Ecoline brush pen. And these are awesome because they're refillable. You just have to purchase these glass bottles of their liquid watercolor, which is what this is, which is what is inside of this is liquid watercolor. And so you just buy this and you open these up and you can refill these so you don't have to throw these in the garbage, which is always good for me. And then I just have a Micron PN, which stands for plastic nib. I much prefer these to the felt tip because the felt tips just they just dry out and get smushed and they never look the same. And then a basic pencil. So these are what I carry, this pile, along with three fountain pens. So just for the sake of the video, I'm just gonna pull three from the side. So here are the three pens that I would put in. I like to carry three pens with me just to give me enough variety, but I'm, using my inks because if I have too many inked then I start to get stressed out. So the purpose for buying this was to find something that I could carry all of these things and I thought that with videos that I had been watching I did not see anyone actually try this but I thought that this bigger space would be perfect for oh. <coughs> Oh. Is the male person here? Maybe my husband's new RC car just came from FedEx. So exciting. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, I had seen people put a Hobonichi A6 in this pocket. So I was like, okay, if an A6 notebook fits in this pocket, then I think this printer can fit. And it does. It's very tight. As you can see, it's kind of stretched out the leather a bit. So if that's something that bothers you, I would not recommend this. But for me, I I don't know, it's leather. It's meant to be used and it's going to form to whatever you put in it. So this is definitely way easier to put in now. I've kept it in there for maybe a week or something and it just slides right in. It was a little tougher to do at first, but I wasn't, um, I didn't feel like I was overextending it by any means. It was just a tight squeeze. So that's all. So I put that in there. And then I also put my stencils behind it. A little difficult because they all want to get stuck to each other. So put those there. And these behind it without catching on the other stencils numbers okay and then I put my ruler behind that and then the extra paper paper pack and my 
blue paper. So all of that fits perfectly in that pocket. I don't think I could get anything else in there, but I don't feel like this is, again, overextending this pocket by any means. I just think that this is a very comfortably tight squeeze. So then I took this uh, double-sided tape and I just squeezed it. It comes as a circle, but I mean, it's just tape. It's not that big of a deal. And then I just put that right there with my scissors. And then in this pocket, I put some of my pens. I usually don't carry both of these. So I'll either pick this one or these two. So for the video, I'm gonna just choose these two. And my micron. Sorry if I'm shaking the camera. And my pencil. The only thing that I found kind of annoying about this is that the pockets are so low that hardly any of my pens or other writing utensils can actually clip on to the pocket. Like the Tombow markers don't, the pencil does, the Micron pen barely does. I wouldn't really even consider that clipping on. I would that doesn't really do anything. I don't care that they don't clip because this has a top, so I'm not worried that anything's gonna fall out of it or anything. It's just something that I noticed. So I'll stick these three pens. I don't even know if these three pens will fit. Let's see, yeah, they do. So again, if, can you hear that squeak? I do notice that this one squeaks significantly less than all the reviews I've seen of it. I, I'm not really a fan of the squeak. So when I got it, like that doesn't really squeak. I would say this does, but only because it's got stuff in it. Yeah. You can kind of hear it like at that corner, but it really only squeaks because it has stuff in the pockets, I guess. Um, so if pens touching each other bother you, again, I would not suggest this pen roll. It does not bother me because I don't, I use my pens. So if they get little, you know, I don't ever necessarily want my pens to get all dinged up, but if they rub against each other and get some micro scratches, for me, that's really not a big deal, unless it's a pen that I think I'm gonna sell in the future, which, these I'm not going to. So again, my Pelican clips on, the other ones really don't. I think my Pelican and my Quebecos are like the only pens that actually clip on, but that, it's fine. So when I got the pen roll, it had, it comes kind of like pre-creased right here. And I thought that that was a little bit too tall. I didn't really like that. So what I've been doing is I put the ruler here and I, okay, so my daughter loudly announced that she had to go to the bathroom, so, <laughs> um, so I had to edit that out. Anyways, so the pen roll, it comes like pre-creased all the way up here, and for me that was a little bit too tall, especially because none of my items I put in were that tall. So what I've been doing is kind of training it by putting the ruler as far in as it will go, and I don't have anything that's taller than that, so... I just kind of pull it tightly and then I'm able to close it. I don't, with all this stuff in it, because I've got like wide things instead of just a bunch of pens, I can't really roll it. So I've just been folding it in half and then closing it that way, which works perfectly for me. So then this is nice and compact. I'll show you against my journal. So I have an A5 journal that I carry around the house. So this is smaller. I'll kind of zoom out a little bit. But this is significantly smaller. It's really not, that looks, that makes it look super bulky, but it's really not. It's 
very comfortable in my hand, even when it's folded in half like this, even when it's kind of full of stuff. It doesn't feel uncomfortable. It's still small and easy to bring around with me, easy to hold. I really enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna take all this stuff out. And I'm going to show you what it looks like if I just stuff it with a bunch of fountain pens. So how many I can get in and what it looks like when I have rolled it up. Okay, so I have filled it to the brim of fountain pens. So three, six, nine, 12, 13, 14. So I can fit about 14 pens. And then this is actually shorter than my ruler so I can pull it down even more, which I really like because then it just makes it a little bit more compact. And then because it's filled with pens, it kind of sort of rolls. If I had 15 pens, or what is it, 14 pens it was? I don't know. If I had that many pens that I was trying to carry around, this would not really be my first choice. It's, I would say that folded halfway with all my stuff in it that I did before was more compact than this. This just seems a little crazy. I don't know. I don't like this. If I had 15 pens that I was trying to carry around to... A pen show or a pen meetup or whatever I don't think I would use that I think I think it would actually be better just to use this thing that holds 20 pens even though it's way bigger it's just flat and I would choose this instead so if you want to carry around a crap ton of pens I don't know if this is what you're into but I don't I don't really like that so I also don't have 15 pens inked at a time, so I don't really need to carry 15 pens around with me in my house. So, but it does hold that many pens if you need to hold that many. But overall, I, I've been really enjoying this just because I'm, I'm a sucker for leather. I'm a sucker for anything that is undyed leather that's just something that I really enjoy so when I saw this and I thought that I could make it work with reviews that I had seen online maybe it could fit the things that I wanted it to fit that was kind of my reason for getting it and I'm I'm really happy with it I've enjoyed it I love watching it change even though I haven't really been anywhere to make it change but soon it'll be 60 degrees tomorrow so I'm really excited so maybe maybe I can take this summer this weekend <laughs> all right well that is my review of my superior labor pen roll I do think it's a very nice pen roll and I would highly suggest it if you are looking for some way to hold all of your all of your stuff really you can hold way more than pens all right well I hope this little review opinion video was helpful to you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!